Ariel. <laughs> and we are looking at a house in Edina to be removed. The first thing I'm looking at that I see is a very steep driveway right here going up. Probably have a 24 foot change in elevation or so, I'm guessing, just from my initial thoughts. What do you think, Dario? It's 22 feet. 22? <laughs> okay. I've looked at it for about three seconds. I could be off by two feet. So, um, with that being said, we're going to be removing this house and we're going to be removing the tree in the middle and then putting in probably a tuck under garage so you don't have such a steep elevation change. Now my question for you, Dario, is I know you want me to bid removing the house. Are you going to want me bid digging the new house or is that at a later date? Let's do two separate bids because I don't okay. have the plan yet for the house. Okay, okay, perfect. So, but what that'll help me understand too is if we got an overall concept that we're going to be rolling with this thing, um, I can help you establish grades as we're demoing, removing the house, we're taking out driveways and getting this, this hill cut down. I've done this for over 20 years, so there's a lot of, lot of little things that I can come into the equation with you on and go, hey, Dario, let's do this or let's do that, and that'll help you save money down the road. So let's go in and check, check this house out. Let's get Dario an estimate to knock this bad boy over. Okay. Which could be recyclable. I'm not sure how you guys handle that. No, we do recycle the beams. So if they're steel, they do get recycled. So we're going in. Thanks, Dario. Appreciate it. Okay. All the furniture is out. Great. What is the insulation like in the ceiling? You can see for yourself in the kitchen. Perfect. I'm not sure. So Dario's going to be the general contractor on this. We're going to help him walk through the demo on ways that he can do things on his own. Insulation, mercury switches, you got those have to be removed. Um, vermiculite has to be removed, and that's something that you can do, but this has uh, bat insulation, which is perfect. That, that, does, that can stay in place. Your appliances. Yeah, they're going out. Yep, I mean, those are recyclable. So if you, yeah, we're keeping them. They're brand new. They're oh, okay. I was going to say, if, if they look good, but if you're just tossing them, recycle them, you'll get some money back out of them. Um, so here's an interesting fact, at least here in Minnesota, Dario. With asbestos in the house, get a load of this. There's two people that can remove it. A licensed abatement contractor, the most qualified, or the homeowner, the least qualified. <laughs> I had a test done. The okay. It should be in Wednesday. Okay. So we'll see. I know he said he doesn't look like there's any, but he's doing a test on it. So. so you'd be surprised. They test, when they test for asbestos, they test like the caulk in the windows. They test the glue under the floor. Like I seen uh, this, this type of, uh, well, this is, is this linoleum? Yeah, this is. So they would test that. All those little things is where they find it. When we go to remove it, we got to have the fluorescent bulbs out. Those are things that you can do. So and I'll give you a checklist of everything that you can do to um, save some money on this demo. Okay, so this fireplace is a real brick fireplace. I'm going to guess it goes all the way to the floor, yeah, to the basement. Down. Okay. Um, so there's going to be at least a load of brick just in that fireplace, which is no big deal, but it's something that I have to account for. Did you say these beams are all steel under here, Dario? That's what they told me. I don't know about these. I think it's the main house beams. Ah, okay. Well, they could be. They could just be wood wrapped. I think the, the main one literally runs to the top of the house here. And now I'm seeing a second fireplace. That one's probably not pure brick. Or is it? It doesn't go all the way down. It doesn't it's, go all the way down. It's not brick. It's cinder blocks in the back. So. Okay. So that's the main floor. We've taken everything into it. All right, so we'll go down into the basement. We'll see what we have here. Okay, very compartmentalized. Each one of these walls will be adding into my how much how many dumpsters I have because that's what I look for when I'm looking through these houses. How many interior walls? Anything unusual? Spancrete floors, such as in like this room, if there was a spancrete floor. Um, which one? It's a furnace room. Just the furnace room? Okay. Uh, looks like they had a bar in here. Uh, there's your ductwork. 
There's that chimney from the top floor. You don't see anything unusual. 2,700 square feet, 2,500 square feet or so, you said? The footprint of the house. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go in this room real quick. Okay, so now we're at the, we're gonna do a quick vid, a quick walk around to the outside of the house. And then Dario, what I'll do is I'm gonna sit down in my car for a little bit and just calc uh, how many, how much it'll take to remove the house, the driveway, this retaining wall, which is built in a way I've never actually seen before. I've just never seen him use timbers that big. That's just, I love it. There's a lot of creativity in this house. <laughs> I love it. Um, then we have a timber retaining wall that we've got to get rid of. Uh, that'll be a bit of a, a challenge, at least in Minnesota. D disposing of railroad ties is uh, a lot of regulation on that. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to remove the house and then we're going to level the lot. Not pool table level, but just we're going to take the hill down, try to create a flat plateau where that tree is up front and then um, take it down another notch so then Dario can actually start to envision and set elevations. We don't want to put the cart in front of the horse and try to set something up without knowing for sure. So remove the house, empty the canvas, and then let a new picture be painted. Best way to put it, right? <laughs> 